Hello again. Funny day today. Looks like it's uh, not very nice, but it's actually quite warm. Very little wind apparently, about three mile an hour. We're heading off in the Polly Steps direction. Woohoo! Usually I head down that way, but I'm not today. Just for a change, I'm gonna head up Grove Avenue. This is the escape bay I'm standing in. We'll stand it for long, but the reason I'm doing it is that I'd like to say that I'd never seen a, a car have to use it, but someone did in 1972. Here we go. Well, that was 1972 with a car in the um, escape bay. Anyway, let's get out of it, get safe now. There's the house and wall that were in the back of that photo. And whereas this is the start of the escape bay, and you've got the bridge up there, taking the school kids across the road to school. And you've got Reed Vale over there, which we've walked recently. This is Diamonds Lane. Let's take a walk down Diamonds Lane, eh? Little garage section. All the right hand side here was destroyed in the bombs. Um, I might do some then and nows up here at some point. I've got some pictures somewhere, but they're not in my rotation for immediate use. But I must have to move them forward. So there's Grove Terrace again, where we walked up just now. Still on Diamonds Lane. Boscowan Place, where my friend used to live when I was a kid. And we're coming down just at the side of St James's again. And this building here on the right will be the White Ensign Club and the private house behind it. There we are. Probably recognise where we are now. And we'll go down, like I said earlier on, on the normal route over the poly steps. Nice and peaceful down here without the wind.
train. Looks like I can get through today. Super. See you on the other side. Yay, made it. Right, well regular viewers on my channel will know that when I come through this field here, opposite, well, just before I get to the rugby club and parallel with the train tracks, I often comment that I've got a picture somewhere, or I've seen a picture when this was tennis courts. Well, I haven't been able to find it. But what I did find when I went down one of my research rabbit holes, as I call them, was that over there in the corner, just there, used to be a tea room, of all things. Now, I can't think of the name of it off the top of my head. Something like the Butter, butter Room or something, something like that. Anyway, some old Tinkerbell tea rooms or some sort of quaint name. But I do have a picture of that. I don't have it on me today and I'm not going to try and do it today. But at some point in the future, that's going to be one of my then and nows, which I didn't even know about myself until a couple of days ago. Certainly picking up that pollen smell from the hedgerows. There's something in the air, definitely. As I say, with my nose, it doesn't really work. For me to smell it, it means there's something definitely going on. I'd hate to have hay fever or be a hay fever sufferer today. Heading up onto Bitten Pot Road. Middle lane ahead of me. Going up there to the old hospital that isn't anymore. I want to say it's 4th Avenue, but it's not, is it? It's something else. 3rd Avenue, that is, yeah, 3rd Avenue down there. Yes, 3rd, that's right. The uh, bin people are just making their way out of 2nd Avenue. And 1st Avenue is just down here by Tesco's. Where the old fire station used to be years ago. And again, I've got a picture of that stashed away somewhere. But not doing that one today, do that on another trip. Walk down the end of First Avenue and show you where the old fire station was with a pic of it. Now, this old dilapidated shop that I'm walking past now was supposed to be demolished. It's a complete eyesore and it's falling down, especially around the back. And they were going to make six flats, but that was declined because they want to have two residences instead. That's the application for the planning. So we may get this be demolished sometime in the future used to be like a general stores once, convenience store, like a bit like a spa, something like that, you know. Cigarettes and food and crisps and rent videos there. But it's been it's been closed for all oh, 30 odd years. And uh, nothing's been done to it. Like I say it's an eyesore. Gonna pop up through Bitten Park. Just the other day I was up here, looked at the bowling green, I said it'd be lovely to see people playing bowls. Lo and behold, got a small match taking place. I won't go over and put the camera in their faces, so to speak, but lovely. There's the orangery being opened up by one of the volunteers. It's open in the afternoons now, you can go in and have a look around. Obviously it's not exactly huge, but I will try and um, get up here and do that one afternoon when I'm passing by. And there's a much better vantage point of the bowls. This is Liggy's bench. Martin Light, Liggy, went to school with him. 
he passed on the 5th of July 2019. I'm going to sit down on his bench. He used to bump into him on the seafront quite a lot. He enjoyed walking, same as I do. And we got to chatting. He said to me one day, he said, Bill, not many of us left now. I said, what's us? He says, well, original Timoth boys, you know, born and bred, grown up here, still here now. Everyone else, they've either moved on, got married, moved away, or they've died or something. I said, oh, well, there you go. That was the last time I ever spoke to him. A few days later, someone said to me, you know Liggy? I said, yeah, he's died. I said, oh, God. R.I.P. Lig. Bitten Avenue. Along towards where the old job centre was years ago. Another one of those old neighbourhood watch signs that I was looking at the other day on Woodway from many, many years ago. If you remember that picture of the warehouse the other day, this is where it would have been taken from. But of course all that blue building is blocking it. But the top of the um, roof you can see ahead, that's the top of the roof of that warehouse that was in the then and now. I'll pop it in now if I can remember to add it in for those that didn't see the last video. There we go, yeah, so that's the roof of it in behind the blue shed. In fact, that blue shed where that stands, that used to be the old key in. Anyway, back down to the entrance of the docks. And we're going to take Key Road. Now, down to the fish key. A lot of the uh, lobster pots have been moved, a lot clearer than it used to be. Now my eyes aren't what they used to be. I think that's called the Celtic spirit though. Something spirit anyway. There's the dredger. There's the ferry over on the beach in Sheldon, waiting to come back.
plenty of spaces in the old point car park today. Ferry heading back from Sheldon. Yay, ferry! King of all his surveys, Lord of the Manor. And with that, my walk for the day comes to an end. Been out about an hour and a half. Down to about four miles, that's fine. And I'll catch you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed some different places, such as Grove Avenue and um, Diamonds Lane. Cheers.